Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane and in this video I will be showing you how I made this folklore cardigan. It's featured on the cardigan music video by Taylor Swift. I know I'm a bit late to the trend because the music video has been released a while back but I just recently saw a picture of this cardigan and I think it's really pretty. I mean look at the detailing on the back. Look at this gorgeous cable pattern. And the moss stitch it gives it like a really nice texture. Most of this cardigan is built with um, moss stitch. So it's really fluffy. I got this um, pattern off of Google. It's by a brand called Lion Brand and I'll, I'll link their pattern down below in case you guys want to make one. I, I think you should because this cardigan is just really pretty. It turned out really great and the pattern is really easy to follow. Um, I didn't even use the yarn by Lion Brand. I used a locally sourced yarn. I'll show this this one and it's from Aneka Benang. It's a local yarn store here in Indonesia. I'll link their store down below in case you're from Indonesia and you want to make a purchase. To make this cardigan, I use size 4 medium yarn and 5.5mm knitting needle. I started my piece by working on the body panels. The front panels consist of narrow left cable, left cable, white left cable, another narrow cable, and moss stitches. I casted on the amount of stitches needed for my size and making the one by one ribbing for 13 rows. We alternate colors after a few rows for the ribbing. Then start creating the pattern using the narrow left cable, left cable, white left cable, and moss stitches. There are cable charts on the pattern. You can refer to those charts to help you with the cables. I like to use crochet hooks to help me with my cables. Continue with the pattern until the length required on the front panel pattern. At some point, the pattern asks to make a decrease on both the neckline and armhole on the same time. So be sure to do that if you don't want to have a drapey cardigan. Mark your decreases for an easy count. And remember to count the rows on both front panels to have the same length. Here's how my finished front panels look. Next is the back panel. The back panel consists of one center cable, narrow left cable, white left cable, left cable, another narrow left cable, and moss stitches. 
Here's how the Put your front and back pieces together and sew them together on the shoulder seam. Then you should have one big panel looking like this. After sewing the panels together, make the ribbing by picking up stitches along the front opening and neckline. Next, it's time to make the sleeves. The sleeves consist of center cable, two narrow left cables, and two left cables, two wide cables, and of course, small stitches. I cast it on the sleeves using tubular cast on for a cleaner look. Enjoy the short time lapse of me knitting the sleeves. The finished sleeves should look like this. Then make another one. After finishing the sleeves, I attach the sleeves on the body and sew all the side seams together. I use mattress stitch for a cleaner finish. It does however bulk up a bit on the inside, but as long as it doesn't show on the outside, it's still fine. Finally, it's time to add the buttons. I use this huge nude buttons on my cardigan. I wanted to use black buttons, but these are all they had at the button store I went to. these buttons fit their respective holes and sew them to the left band. Then I'm all done. Here's how the finished cardigan looks.
I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to show this video some love by giving it a thumbs up and a comment. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!